So we have Laura Smith. Apparently you have two films in the festival this year. I do. I'm very excited and honored to have both of them. We know, obviously, opening night screening with I'll See You In My Dreams. And please tell us a little bit about the other one. Uh, the other one is called Holbrook Twain, An American Odyssey. And it's a documentary film about the actor Hal Holbrook and his one-man Mark Twain stage show that he's been performing for 61 years now consecutively. He just turned 90, and he's still on the road with the show. Yeah, so I really love it. It's a you know very different movie, but also just similar themes in terms of just really embracing your life and never quitting and, and just continuing to follow your passions and it's been really inspiring making that and just seeing what Hal's you know committed to his his craft so so this is amazing obviously to have two films here but we'll go to I'll see you in my dreams what was that experience like it was wonderful and I feel like this probably sounds like a really canned response but it was honestly the most joyful positive experience I've ever had making a movie and I think that was really just about the people involved and the whole team we brought together. Um, everyone was just in it really for the love of the project and respected each other and it was just extremely collaborative and just a really amazing experience and they're not, you know, making any movie is really hard and this one was hard, you know, there were hard days and everything's fast and stressful and everything but to have just the right energy and the right people involved just made it fantastic. So it's wonderful to now see that hopefully transcending and, and you know, being conveyed on screen. Well, obviously you had a star-studded cast, which is fantastic, and a crew, apparently, that's very experienced. How did it feel working with Brett, being such a new filmmaker? You know, he's amazing. I have so much respect for Brett. I think he's so talented, and he is so young, but so wise for his years, and to see, especially walking into a situation like this, where he's working with veteran actors who've been doing this longer than he's been alive, you know, and he's the first to say, like, I think he has all the right confidence and ego that a, a good filmmaker needs to have, but he also very much knows when to step back and be collaborative and listen. And so to see him strike that balance and to see how then Blythe and Sam and Rhea and these people who are such professionals just respected him and understood him and listened and just, yeah, it was really, you, you know he has such a singular vision and it's his film and he told the story beautifully. So I think I'm most impressed with the fact that he actually wrote this yeah. from such a young perspective. He was able to write this. Yeah. Yeah, and no discredit to, I think there are so many, you know, like young hipster movies and things about the, you know, the, that genre because there is something about telling what you know, but his, you know, he's all about, I want to tell a story I don't know, and that's the person I want to explore, and I really admire that, and especially to then pick a character that isn't told off, to, you know, a seven-year-old woman, but he and the co-writer Mark Bash said that when they were writing it, they just felt like they knew this character, and, and the story just kind of naturally unfolded and I think some writers say that when you really know your character the action almost takes care of itself like you know that what this person would say or do so you know I feel I think the movie feels really honest in that way they you know just did a wonderful job well thank you again for being here and congratulations on two of your films in the Dallas International Film Festival we hope to see you again next year thank you, thank you.